Hi everyone, this is Mick Make Mail number 25, and this one came from Andon Star, which is an update of their previous um, microscope. Let's get into it. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm shouting. Uh, I went skydiving in the weekend and my ears are completely blocked. So if I'm shouting, just ignore it. Um, so anyway, this um, particular package came from Andonstar. Uh, they saw my review of the previous model that they had, which is the ADSM 201. They decided to send me the updated version. I have a common complaint with people sending me stuff. They often send me the wrong GPO plug. These guys are good. They obviously know I'm in Australia and they sent me the, exactly the right uh, one, which is good. And the other really good thing is the fact that it comes with a remote as well. So uh, you don't have to press the buttons on the side of the uh, microscope and potentially move things. So it looks like a fairly decent unit. So I think you've got a slightly longer movement in the in the arm. Let's just pull out the other one. So comparing it to the previous model, uh, there's certainly a lot more movement um, that you have on the uh, stand. Uh, the stand is a little bit more rigid, which is nice. Like it's a lot more rigid. Uh, this one tends to sort of twist around slightly sometimes. Um, it's held into the base plate with a bit of plastic. Um, look, this one's actually quite good. It's a lot cheaper than this one. Uh, this this one does the job. It's I have no complaints with it. The stand uh, is a little bit sort of it moves a little bit. Um, but you know, once again, it depends on what you want to get out of your microscope. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive, so all the mechanical side of things is uh, a lot more uh, rigid. Um, but it's essentially the same same sort of setup. You have these. Uh, twiddly lights that you can adjust which is really good you can get down low or up high if you want to uh, see something a bit better so the difference between the two models in terms of connectivity um, um, and of course you have a the larger display it's fairly similar you've got a USB port um, you've got SD card you've got HDMI out this one also has AV out of course on this one the buttons are on the front uh, this one the buttons are on the side so let's fire it up and uh, see what it looks like now one of the uh, benefits of this one is that uh, they provide you a sort of like a remote control uh, which connects into a USB power pack and also to the back of this um, the previous model you had to have two power packs but this one they give you a handy little remote um, and once you press the on button it turns the lights on as well as the uh, display uh, so that's quite good. You only need one power pack uh, and it does it all. So I'll try an SD card. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> SD card's really hard to get in. Okay, so the SD card's a little bit sort of tricky to get in, but you go just get your fingernail in there and it'll be fine. Okay, so that's, uh, I think that's video mode. Uh, then you've also got photo mode, so you can theoretically just take a, a photo with the remote control. You don't have to fiddle around with, um, you know, pressing the buttons and potentially moving the microscope. So this is a, uh, a fairly burnt out uh, control board uh, for some sort of lighting. Uh, so you can see it's fairly decent. Uh, now this is at the highest setting. Uh, if I can scroll down, I can move this thing down. That's about it. So that's pretty good. I can get right in there and uh, see things fairly accurately. So in terms of uh, sort of resolution, it's pretty good. There's a slight delay moving the object and uh, uh, and it moving, but you know you can get used to that sort of thing. Now comparing it to the uh, previous model, the previous model is actually still pretty good. You can get right in there. Certainly from my angle, I can see everything that I could see on the uh, other screen. Let's fire up the HDMI recorder and uh, I'll show you what it actually looks like. So this is the uh, previous model that I flicked up on the display. It's a little bit grainy, but it's pretty adequate for the price. I don't see there being an issue. You're still able to use it to see very small things. So of course at the highest level, let's uh, just move it up. So at the highest level, it's, uh, it's still pretty good as well. But when we move over to the newer one, 
Uh, you can see definitely that slightly clearer, I think. It's certainly closer up. Uh, let's zoom in. You can see the newer model is slightly clearer. You can see everything quite nicely. I think it's got a, a shallower depth of focus. I think the uh, lens arrangement is probably a bit better, uh, but you can certainly see a lot of the uh, sort of pits in in the PCB that's caused by burnout of this of this uh, particular problem on this PCB. Now, one question I was asked uh, by one of my subscribers is in the previous review is. Uh, if I can get a soldering iron in there, you can sort of just get a soldering iron in the old version um, Just ignore my non SMD soldering iron. <laughs> it's just a big chunky lump of metal So at this height with the uh, lens 35 millimeters away from the PCB uh, You can you can really get in there, but let's try the uh, newer model and see how far away we can get so the uh, newer model uh, you can certainly get it a lot closer and um, You can fit uh, objects, you know, soldering iron or a heat gun under there fairly easily. And uh, this one has uh, roughly 55 millimeters, and you can potentially fit in uh, heat guns into it. Okay, uh, so how would I uh, compare the two? I don't know. Both do pretty much an adequate job for the price point. If you have the money, I'd get the uh, 302, but the 201 does an equally good job. Um, there's a few sort of quirks, for example the uh, 302, when you're sort of trying to focus the optics tend to sort of tilt sometimes, it's a bit odd. I would prefer to go for the uh, 302, you've got a lot more working space underneath, um, it's got that setback on the frame uh, so you can put in bigger PCBs or objects, but you know having said that that's the 201 is does an adequate job as well so it's really a case of how much do you want to spend that's it for this mick make mail number 25 thanks for watching see you next week all right here we are back on the planet how was it it was, it was fantastic except my motion sickness <laughs>